My name is Martin Ludden, and I'm the Executive Director at the St. Paul Neighborhood Network. So SPNN is the longest running community media center in the city of St. Paul. We've been doing what we do since 1984. When you look at media consolidating, and you have a smaller and smaller number of larger and larger organizations that run kind of all of what we consume for media, having a place like SPNN where anybody can come and learn how to tell a story using video. Um, I think that's a really important asset for the city and a really important resource to help people tell stories and to help amplify stories that aren't getting told in kind of that mainstream major media market. So I've been in my role for just over a year um, and I spent probably the first six months learning and learning and learning. Um, but all that learning keeps it interesting. So I get to, I'm building new skills um, and helping SPNN to stay kind of sustainable and relevant going forward. Cool, thanks. My name is Lisa Peterson de la Cueva, and I work with the Community Technology Empowerment Project, which is an AmeriCorps program of SPNN. Before I came to SPNN, I was working at an organization called the Twin Cities Daily Planet, which is an online citizen journalism newspaper. All of the newspapers had just crumbled because of the internet. So there were all these amazing journalists who had no work, and so there were all these amazing projects that came to being. And one of them was the Twin Cities Daily Planet, and it was all about trying to train people, people of color, low-income people, um, LGBTQ, to tell their own stories. So I trained citizen journalists for about five years before I came here. But I direct a program along with, um, the program director is Joel Cragstead, and then I do all the training um, for about 35 different AmeriCorps members. AmeriCorps is a program, it's a national service program where people sign up to do service for a year. They don't get a lot of money, they get a little bit of a stipend, and then they actually get a $6,000 education award. And they're placed in full-time positions all over the Twin Cities, teaching technology skills. So you actually work with an AmeriCorps member, James. Um, and then Amelia is another AmeriCorps member. What I think is really amazing is when I see people be less afraid of technology, and all of a sudden have this aha moment where it's like, oh, this can do something for me. You know, it's not just a box, it's not just a computer. We are in this really amazing revolution on Earth. There are very few times where so much has changed in such a small amount of years. Um, the world I grew up with is totally different than the world you're growing up with, and that's just in one generation. For me, it's like the things that make me passionate come and find me every day. I go and talk to people who are learning things and um, getting empowered. I work with our members who are also doing the same and I'm so lucky to be able to be involved in that. My name is Tajuddin and my title at SPNN is a Master Control Operator. So what I do that when members or someone submits a program to us, what I do is I ingest those programs and then schedule them and then put them on the channel. And there's a lot of media that comes through. but. That's one thing that I love about my job is that I get to see everything that comes through before they go on our, our channel, and that's amazing. I mean, that's a wonderful thing. You know, we're we're a tool for the city, and we are we are a tool that people come in and share their voice. But at SPNN, they can come in and tell their story the way they want to tell their stories. At the network, might not care about local communities, but we do, and we're here with the, you know we're here helping the community tell their stories. I remember that I was, I was a freshman in high school. I think that uh, there's a, there a program called Connection, St. Paul Connections. I signed up for that program and then took some classes and then I joined the Set Up program and it made me who I am today. And I've learned a lot from so many staff. We have amazing, talented staff in the building. We had, I mean, I have amazing bosses that I work with you know currently in the past and they educated me and they were my role models or they're my role models today. 
My name is Julie Grande and I teach uh, community media. I first came to SPNN uh, right after college. I applied to be a part of the, an AmeriCorps program and I was placed at SPNN, so I got to work here with youth. What I do is I lead a few of the programs in the media education department, DocU, which is a documentary program for adults, uh, DocU Fellows, and also Making Media Making Change, uh, rather than having others tell stories that are based on stereotypes or lack of knowledge. Um, it's really important for people to tell their own stories so that there can be that line of communication. In DocU, people bring in topics that they're interested in. So this summer, for example, we have someone who's talking about brain injuries because she herself had a brain injury and so she wants to talk about uh, the experience of brain injury. So we have a variety of topics that people bring in that are important to them that they really just want to research and do a short documentary about. So those are the kinds of issues that are kind of addressed in these documentaries. So in Making Media, Making Change, there are three projects. The first one is a story of self. So that's a story about that person's personal life. There's a story of now, which is kind of a group project based on a current issue. Uh, and then there's a story of us, which is a client video uh, where students can highlight the work of uh, like independent or nonprofits. Um, in my work, I'm most proud when I can see someone who comes in with little to no skills and see them really just grow and expand and be able to tell their own stories. And it makes me really proud to see someone be able to grow in that way and be able to effectively tell the stories that are important to them. I, I think it's really important, especially in this day and age where media is so prevalent and it kind of forms people's opinions about people of other cultures, people like just the way we treat one another. I feel like it's really important to give people the tools so that they can help shape that dialogue and put in their input and especially in uh, a nation where a lot of the media represents white communities, right? We want to see more communities of color, more communities that are like from the LGBTQ community. So just communities that are underrepresented. What I'm doing right now is something I really love. And if I, I think that if I could do this forever and, you know, continue to love it forever, I would be happy. Thank you.